The Whore of Babylon's Golden Goblet by William Dyer The woman wore purple and scarlet clothing and beautiful jewelry made of gold and precious gems and pearls. She held in her hand a golden goblet full of obscenities and the impurities of her immorality. Revelation 17.4 Beware of the whore of Babylon's golden goblet and her sweet wine. Be like the virgin spouse of Christ who follows him wherever he goes. Beware of false teachers. The devil has his ministers as well as Christ. Beware of false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Matthew 7.15 Yes, they are ferocious wolves. They never have enough. They are dogs with mighty appetites. They never have enough. They are shepherds who turn to their own way. Each seeks his own gain. Isaiah 56, 11 O oh, false teachers, do not feed the flock, but fleece the flock. They do not convert, but pervert. They do not purify, but poison. They do not edify for salvation, but destroy for damnation. Instead of curing souls, they kill souls. Just as long as they pilfer the people's money, they care not, though the devil has their souls. They are dogs and wolves combining together to massacre the flock of Christ. Oh, therefore keep yourselves from Babylon's merchants, who make merchandise of the souls of men. Revelation 18.13 Oh, the sins of teachers are the teachers of sins. Now, beloved, let your hearts be upright, your judgments sound, and your lives holy. Love the truth, and obey the truth, and hold fast the truth. Keep yourselves from false teachers, from false doctrines, from false worship, from false opinions. If you will be tasting and sipping of Babylon's golden goblet, you must resolve to receive Babylon's plagues.